successful candidate too. This candidate's very interesting because he actually received a rejection through another agent. And this agent, it's well known and then they have a lot of pay art across the internet. And in fact, we don't do any pay art at all. If you found me, you'll be primarily because you heard from your friends or you search, you know, my name. It's really on something that basically our basis based on we are working on referrals only that's why we are very selective because we only work people with someone who's really trusting us they we're gonna make a change in their life and they have trust in themselves this candidate he is actually an auditor and then he got rejection when he approached me i said why do you think i'm going to make a difference to you this time why do you think i'm going if there's a possibility there because most times i don't take applications if they already lost to themselves or if they've been through another agent because i really don't know the risk for me it's higher you know because the department already have a record and then you got a negative feedback on their record my work is no longer just convince the department why you meet a requirement i need to convince the department second thing that why they made the wrong decision in the first place i need to convince them why that was wrong and i convince them it's actually harder because convincing someone they, they did wrong it's harder isn't it so whole process and during the process I cannot get endorsement for the candidate if they already rejected, but because candidate town officer often they refuse to do that. They said, my colleague already made decision. I'm not going to make different decisions. You can see the, how hard is that? So most time I don't, I don't, I don't not, do not take application if they already rejected. So, but why I took this application? Because he really believed me. He said that he didn't know me as, in the first place. But after he got rejection, he realized, actually, I'm actually an expert in this area. So he also, he got referral from lots of friends mentioned my name. That is the reason he said, you're going to make me different this time. And I'm willing to do anything that I'm, you want documents i'll be working really hard with you to get this result he's truly committed and because you refer by one of the friends he's actually one i'm one of the success candidates i know he's expecting our premium service of course he understand that it's premium service means premium you know professional fee if he accept that of course it's not something that he can't afford he can truly afford for him i ask a simple question do you think this is important? This result is important to you. How much effort you want to put down makes this happen? If you have the same effort, if you want to have some, if you have the same commitment, I'll do that for you too. And he said, "This is my last chance. I'm reaching 45 year this year. I'm already 45. Okay, there's no way I can get Australian permanent visa through any other programs. I'm not eligible for business visa. I'm not going to put 1.2 million to the government for four or five years with no interest, minimal interest. This is not my best interest to do. GTR program is really, really great for me, and I cannot get Australian permanent. That's no chance for my family. My family waiting for this one. You need to tell me you are." the person who can help me now we really able to do that at the end if you're a person you know comment below if you want to share your story